Hello YouTube, my name is Brendan Lee and I'm doing another gun video on a gun that I really like. It might even be my most favorite rifle. It is my black powder rifle. This right here, my CVA Wolf. Now what's interesting about a CVA Wolf is the only way for me to show you this thing's not loaded is I have to put the ramrod inside and if it sticks out then it's loaded and if it doesn't then it isn't loaded. It's down in here and wouldn't you know oh, it's not loaded. It needs to stick out about this much to be loaded. That's how you would know. And that's it. If it just pops all the way down it's not loaded. But yeah I love this gun. I've had this gun for about not even a year and as you can see, you see this sling here, this home job I did on this sling, look at that. It's actually a really good job I did on tying this thing. It looks ghetto, but I'll tell you what, it works. This was my old Most in the Gaunt sling. If any of you guys have seen my old Most in the Gaunt vid, <laughs> um, sling on this, I just tied it on with a piece of string and it works. So hell, I got a sling on my most of my muzzle loader and you know what this thing only costs like 160 out the door by the way you can walk right out the door in Florida with a muzzle loader the same day you buy it so I bought it and I had a great time and I got to go shoot it off and no, no it will the paper only thing you have to do is pay them no paperwork <laughs> so it was really fun I always was curious about that muzzle loaders there's no paperwork I'm always like what about like handguns? I don't know about that, but if anyone could leave in the post underneath, what about like, what if you bought a Ruger Blackhawk 44 Magnum? Do you get to walk out the door with it and then load six rounds and go kill somebody or something because there's a loophole? But whatever. Either way, I love this gun. It's got um, fiber optic sights, which come in really handy. They just glow during the day. They are awesome. Alright, so this is the breech plug, and this is the piece that you put the primer on. It takes 209 primers, they're the same primers as a shotgun shell. And I just buy the cheap shotgun primers from the store, not muzzle loader primers. And as you can see, look at that rifling, that's beautiful, huh? Yeah. But, um,. As you can see, this piece here looks like it can be hollowed out and accept a 5070 shell or a 5090 or a 5110. Because all this is back here is a um, uh, firing pin. I've always thought that'd be awesome. All I have to do is buy a little $20 breech plug and you dremel that one out and then bam you got yourself an actual single shot rifle and then you can switch this back in and then you got yourself a black powder rifle you could use one for one season and one for the other little tips and tools that I bought with it this thing really helps with loading it that's what you seed it in to put the bullet in when you're putting it down it really helps when you're putting the bullet in to put it on this just easier to load. I've loaded it the other way but it's just annoying on your hands and you should wear gloves if you do it the other way. With just the ramrod. And another thing that a lot of people are probably gonna say, oh no you can't shoot round balls in this gun. And they'll shoot out of it. I don't know how accurate they are. This is what how accurate they will be fact because I've done it. <coughs> At about 35 yards away they'll hit a coke can every single time that's good enough for me and I consider myself a hunter and I wouldn't take a shot when it's past whatever I've shot at and if I know I can hit a coke can at 35 yards I know I can hit a deer at 35 yards and I would hunt with this thing at 35 yards haven't hunted with it yet would love to one day maybe hogs or something take that a little further I could use more accurate rounds I could but these are great for target practice I have my speed loaders I know speed loaders right like Civil War era speed loaders. You put the ball in there with the powder and the um, patch and then you pop open one end, put the powder in, then you put the patch in the ball and put it down and it's just faster. Then you put the primer on the other side. This is the same thing you can use it the same way 
or you can use it as the piece that you put on the ramrod or it also measures your black powder. Okay, if anyone's ever put a new breech plug on this thing and made it be able to hold a uh, single shot like make it a single shot rifle please let me know I would love to do that but I think that 50 70 rounds are too damn expensive I don't know if I'd really want to buy them but that'd be so cool to have a gun that can go from black powder to bullets if I had this thing in 45 I could have it be a 4570 when I wanted to how badass would that be but either way 50 70 bullets I know they're like two and a half dollars a bullet or three dollars a bullet there's something kind of ridiculous muzzle loader bullets are pretty expensive too if you want to buy power power belts or anything like that this is the powder I use it's FFG um, it's pretty good um, I think that it's consistent enough to hunt with it's not gonna um, be this best but like you get groups like you get groups like this at 35 yards with not the right ammunition so damn I bet you can get groups like this with the right ammunition at 100 yards so the accuracy on this gun it's fine but um yeah the recoil on this gun if anyone's ever never never shot a muzzleloader so easy this gel recoil pad it just absorbs it compared to the most that I got it's no problem shooting this thing um I would recommend getting them it's like hundred and eighty dollars once again and uh, the sights are great that's that's all I gotta say Thank you very much, and uh, if you like my videos, please um, tell me what I should do differently or not, because this is only my second video, and I'd like to know your um, comments. Tell me anything you, that I haven't told you about the gun that you might want to know, because um, I'm free to answer. I love answering all the questions. Um, thank you.